Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's One Piece Treasure Cruise video, we are going to showcase 9 different teams for the new Kizuna vs Uta. These teams will be for the normal boss, for super boss teams, definitely subscribe to not miss out on those. 3 variations, 3 teams for each variation, we have Psy, Strength and Int. And all of the teams in the video will be able to face all of the mechanics you will ever find in this Kizuna, even after level 30. Team 1 for all variations uses the new Kizuna Rare Recruit Frankie as a friend captain and sub because that was the Kizuna Rare Recruit I managed to pull. The second team for all variations uses him as friend captain and the final one does not use any of the new Kizuna Rare Recruits. Generally, if you want Frankie replacements, wherever I use him twice, you probably do not need his special twice. You need one, either the friend captain or the sub. So you can of course replace the other with either another Kizuna Rare Recruit or another unit that helps you in general. And in the teams I am using him as friend captain, if you want to replace him with another Kizuna Rare Recruit, you need to also replace the utility he provides somehow in the team. That will happen by replacing units that probably provide the utility that either Nami or Robin can provide as a friend captain. Without further ado though, let's proceed to my teams and let's challenge Kizuna vs Uta. Starting off with the Psy variation, team number 1 will be using Halloween Perona as captain, with the friend captain Kizuna Rare recruit Frankie of course, we are also using him as a crewmate, he is not important, as a sub and also a friend captain you can replace one or the other. The only thing he is useful for in this team is the end of turn damage he can provide to bypass resilience in the final stage and nothing else. For our dual units, you want to enter on Sabo and also Jimbe. Keep swapping Ace and Sabo, specifically swap them 3 times, charge up the super swap meter and then proceed when you are on Ace and the meter says in 1. And in stage 2 now, our support to remove 2 turns of despair will activate alongside sockets and we need a support. I am using free to play Pedro on Brook, you can use the strength free to play straw hats or whatever else you want. And then you activate Brook to completely remove despair and get a chain boost. After Brook you want to swap to Sabo for the color affinity boost because Brook removes all beneficial effects. And now you can attack based on color advantage and matching slots of course to beat Oven. Do not forget to also swap to Robin, I forgot to mention it, so you are on the deck side and you also have more matching slots for an easier time in stage 2. Entering the final stage, your super swap is ready to go and you also need to have Ace and Sabo in the right column. I would also advise you to swap Jimbe Robin and Brook places, you will understand why. First, we want to swap Robin to Jimbe and activate him because he is in to remove damage reduction and give us a base attack boost. And now you want to super swap to Ace for the full board of matching slots, the color affinity boost and then activate him for the orb boost and the removal of bind. Then activate Frankie for the end of turn damage and finally Perona's super type ability and also special for you to apply negative to the enemy and gain a conditional attack boost against negative and also get a chain lock. Swapping Brook and Robin Jimbe places will allow you to swap to Jimbe before you remove bind and before you do the super swap allowing you to get the full board of matching slots. But other than that you attack and easily clear. Team 2 versus the Psy variation will be using Bonnie with the friend captain Kizuna Rea recruit Frankie and again his only use is to apply end of turn damage for us to bypass resilience in the final stage. Something to have in mind here, we are using support Vivi on Bonnie, so Boa can give us a conditional attack boost in the final stage immediately. And we are also using V1 Rayleigh on Luffy to reduce despair alongside sockets. And that way, when we activate Luffy, who needs to be in the right column, we can completely remove despair, get a chain lock, and also make certain you target Oven to HP cut him and make your time very easy in stage 2. All of your slots will be TND, only for Bonnie it will be matching. Luffy is binded, so you have one less attack. Target the two mobs, take them out first, and then with Boa, Frankie and the matching slot Bonnie, attack Oven and easily take him out. Your bind remover, in my case Halloween Yasop, needs to be in the right column to evade bind, and the same goes for Luffy, because he binds himself already, you do not want more bind added to him after level 30. Organizing your team like that will allow you to activate your bind remover and remove bind on the entirety of your left column after level 30 and also Luffy having all of your units available to attack. 
Then you want to activate Boa, and with Bonnie having a matching slot, you will get defense down on Uta and the conditional attack boost. Then you want to activate 5 plus Kizuna Olin to remove the damage reduction completely even after level 30 and get an ore boost for majority of your units. Then Frankie to apply end of turn damage. And finally Bonnie's special and super type for a full board of matching slots, an attack boost and also a chain lock. Be careful in this stage, a color affinity boost by a special is interruptible, that's why I'm using rare recruit towel Nami support on all-in for a color affinity boost, but it is not necessary anyway, it just provides more damage. All-in might also provide some semblance slots if you have some attack with those units first and then with the RCV slot ones to beat Uta. Team 3 vs the Psy variation will be using V4 Blackbeard as captain, the treasure map legend, and then Moria as friend captain. For this team you can only use stat boosting supports, you do not need anything specific. And if you are using this Akainu, you can swap your captains around. If you do that you need to have Akainu in the right column and maximum bind sockets. If you do not have Akainu, he provides end of turn damage allowing us to bypass resilience, but you need Blackbeard as your captain and not friend captain. In stage 2, activate Moria for a full board of guaranteed matching slots and an ore boost and also his super type to lock the slots and have them matching in the final stage as well. Then you activate who's who for an attack boost and to remove despair of course alongside sockets and then you attack for a very easy time against the mini boost. The Jesus Burgess unit you see in the bottom left is only here to allow Blackbeard to get access to his super class ability. His special is not needed anywhere so you can replace him with a Katarina Devon, a Siriu unit or whoever else helps Blackbeard get access to his super class and that is actually important to do because with the super class we can get more damage and also an attack boost. After the preemptive in the final stage though, activate Blackbeard to remove bind and get chain boundaries and also his super class to get an attack boost. Then you want to activate Akainu who gives you end of turn damage and allows you to bypass resilience. And then you want to activate 5 plus free to play Kizuna all in again to remove the damage reduction even after level 30 and also get an ore boost. You have a color affinity from Moria special which is very helpful and not interruptible and now you are ready to attack easily defeating Uta. Team 1 versus the strength variation will be using Sugar as captain and the friend captain Kizuna rare recruit Frankie but also him as a crewmate. His importance in this team is to remove the special bind after level 30 so you need him as a sub or you need another unit in his place to remove special bind, the friend captain special is not necessary. We are also using a color affinity boosting support for the final stage, which is just for more damage, but not a necessity. In stage number 2, activate Bobbin to remove both the defensive effects, and if you place him between your two Frankie units that have color advantage over every color, you can easily beat the stage and have more than enough damage. Have in mind, if you do not get an attack boost from stage number 2, from the secret stage, then you want to activate Soba twice. So even though the friend captain special is not necessary in terms of utility or damage, it can help Soba regain his special, so make certain it is at least activatable. After level 30, you first want to activate your special bind remover to free everyone in the final stage, but before that, Activate Soba Mask to get a full board of matching slots and an attack boost. Then you want to activate 5 plus free to play Uta twice. She will give you a chain boost, reduce the enemy Uta's defense to zero, and also give you a conditional attack boost. Then you want to activate one more special for Soba to regain his own special, and then you reactivate it if you can for an increased attack boost. Here I cannot do it, of course, because stage 2 gave us an attack boost. And finally, you activate Sugar's special, turning everyone into a toy bear, and her super type ability for an ore boost. Finally, you just tap her, penetrate the barrier, and super easily defeat Uta. Team 2 vs the strength variation will be using super class, super tandem low, with the friend captain Kizuna Rea recruit Frankie. Here Kizuna Rare Good Frankie is not helpful at all, his special is not needed, you can use whatever friend captain you want, he's only here for tickets and because I pulled him. Law is incredibly good though, and for your dual unit you want to enter on Denjiro. 
Rare Recruit Beppo is also very useful because I have his double special activation which is needed and he also provides Lo the ability to activate his super class. First though, in stage 2, I activate Neptune to get a color affinity for 3 turns and remove damage reduction, swap Denjiro to Kinemon and then activate the super class ability only of Lo to get a guaranteed tandem slot and the conditional attack boost. Attack with Lo first to reduce Zoro's defense and then easily defeat him with the rest of your units. For the final stage now, we are going to carry over the conditional attack boost from Lo and also the color affinity boost from Neptune. Have in mind, it won't play a role now, but after level 30, you want to activate Beppo first so you can reduce the special bind and then activate him again to completely remove it. Here I cannot do it of course, he will also give you a chain boost and a full board of guaranteed TND slots. Then you activate free to play Odin to remove the barrier, then you swap Kinemon to Denjiro for the resistance reduction and you activate him so you can get an ore boost and also get a base attack boost. They remove defense as well which is not important though because if you attack with Law first he will reduce Uta's defense to zero anyway. Activate his special before attacking to get an attack boost and the specific chain buff and then attack easily defeating Uta. Team number 3 versus the strength variation will be using V2 Magellan as captain the super type unit with a friend captain super class Ben Beckman and Lucky Roo. For this team you can use stat boosting supports and you need to know that V3 Akainu is only boosted by your friend captain and Bon Clay is not boosted by neither your captain or friend captain before we change his classes and color in the final stage. Before that though, in stage 2, you want to activate your friend captain Beckman and Rue special so you get chain boundaries for 3 turns and an ore boost for 3 turns and then activate 5 plus Kuja Pirates to get an attack boost, a conditional attack boost if you have enough HP and to also remove the defensive effects. Super easily then, attack Zoro and defeat him. I know that by having a friend captain Beckman and Rue you can essentially remove these defensive effects in stage 2 without a special, but the Kuja pirates are extremely comfortable to make the run easier so might as well use them. In the final stage now, after level 30 you want to first activate Kawamatsu to remove special bind from everyone and get a chain boost. Then you want to activate your captain Magellan. He will give a color affinity boost to all of your units and then by activating his super type as well, we can get more damage. Akainu is an MVP unit in this team because he allows Magellan to activate his super type. He will give us an attack boost for everyone, remove the barrier even after level 30, reduce Uta's defense to zero and also give us a conditional attack boost. So he's a beast. Then you want to activate Bon Clay for a base attack boost turning him into a Q and a shooter unit. He also gives you a full board of guaranteed matching slots and allows Beckman and Rue's super class to be activated. Do that before you attack and then destroy Uta. Team 1 vs the int variation will be using treasure map Mugiwara 56 legend Sanji with the friend captain Kizuna rare recruit Frankie. We are also using him as a crewmate. And the important one in this team is the friend captain who will give us all of our specials back in the final stage and also remove paralysis after level 30. So he's a beast in the friend captain position. The crewmate special is not necessary. You can definitely use it if you have it in stage number 2 to remove burn but it's not necessary to remove burn because Sanji already has given us an ore boost and high chances for matching slots. So just attack the enemy Frankie without hitting your perfects if you cannot remove the burn. Something else to have in mind for your final attacking chain. Friend Captain Frankie boosts everyone on the team except Rockstar, so start the chain with him. After the preemptive now and after sockets activate to reduce despair, and then firstly you want to activate your friend Captain Frankie so all of your subs can regain their specials. Then you activate Rockstar to completely remove the Despair and also remove the Barrier after level 30. And then Alvida will give you a very high color affinity boost for majority of your units, everyone except Rockstar. Then you activate Law for an ore boost and also Chain Boundaries. And finally your Captain Mugiwara56 Sanji 
for an attack boost and also his super type to increase your already existing attack boost and or boost. After that you attack and very easily defeat Uta. Team 2 vs the int variation will be using Roger as captain with the friend captain Kizuna rare recruit Frankie and again Frankie is important here for the crew to regain their specials and for him to remove paralysis after level 30. Yamato is only here to give us a chain boost, she can also provide guaranteed Wano slots but not the worst thing if you do not get them, so just replace her if you miss her with a chain booster, a chain locker or someone to provide chain boundaries like V3 Law. In stage 2, activate the newly released treasure map chopper from the last treasure map to increase your damage against int enemies and also remove burn, then just attack and beat the enemy. Here we get the secret stage unfortunately because the secret stage hinders this team. It gives us a 2.75 times attack boost, we cannot get the Roger 3 times 1. What you want to do though, either way, after the preemptive, after the despair is also gone because of Roger's captain ability, you want to activate your friend captain Frankie to regain your specials and remove paralysis if present. Then you activate V2 Warden to get a color affinity boost and after him you want to activate free to play summer flambe to get an orb boost and remove the barrier after level 30. Activating Roger now after Odin will give us an increased attack boost if we did not get the secret stage of course and then you want to activate Roger's super type ability as well for guaranteed matching slots. Finally activate Yamato if you have here to boost your chain and make all of your matching slots way no for more damage. Now you are ready to attack and easily defeat the enemy. Team 3 vs the int variation will be using V3 Boa Hancock with the friend captain V2 Super Sugofest Luffy, the newly released one. This team is extremely strong but it needs you to activate Luffy 3 times in the final stage. You either do that by not activating him in stage 2 or by having 3 straw hat special activations in the final stage, just like I do here. In stage 2, we are going to activate his special to get an attack boost and a very easy time against Frankie without even removing the burn. Even though Chopper can do it, we are not going to activate him. Chopper's special is actually very important to activate in the final stage if we used Luffy in stage 2, because by activating him, he will remove despair at the same time allowing Luffy to regain his special. He will also remove paralysis and burn but that is not important. Jinbe can remove paralysis and the burn is not important to be removed. So you definitely need a straw hat if you activate Luffy in stage 2 who can remove despair. Before we do all that, activate the super type ability of Luffy to regain your specials before level 30 and the special of Boa to regain all of your specials guaranteed even after level 30. Then activate Chopper to remove Despair and give Luffy his special back. Another unit that can replace Chopper is definitely Kizuna Rare Recruit Disguised Dex Zoro. Then we activate Luffy for the first time in the final stage for an attack boost. Then activate Jimbe to get a color affinity boost, remove paralysis if you do not have Chopper and then give Luffy his special back. Activate Luffy again for an orb boost. And now Sanji for chain boundaries and for Luffy to regain his special again for the final time and we activate it again of course to increase our attack boost and or boost and get a full board of guaranteed matching slots. After level 30 when the enemy gets the barrier also activate Vivi to remove it or another barrier remover, this Vivi is not necessary. If you are using Dex disguised Kizuna Rare recruit Zoro then he can also remove barrier so that's another very good unit, he is just not shy. But these are my 9 teams for the normal boss in the new Kizuna vs Uta. If you have any questions definitely leave them in the comments down below and I will do my best to help. If you enjoyed this video or you found it helpful definitely leave a like I would really appreciate it and subscribe to the channel to not miss out on the super boss teams as well. As always thank you so much for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next one.